I think both the John Williamson one and the new version of True Blue both have different intended purposes and they've used cinematic devices and casting to convey this message successfully, whether it was through symbols or lighting or angles, all sorts. For example, the John Williamson one is more about lament to Australia's identity and not wanting to use it. However, the new one is about giving hope that Australia can still hold identity and was based around the hit of COVID-19 and more of an acknowledgement of Australia's of the Australians that were making changes for the best. And I think both provide representations of Australia's identity, but for John Williamson, it was more of a stereotype view of Australia, like bogans, maybe using people that had singlets and plaid shirts, farmer vibes, drinking beer. Um, however, not really many other cultures or women or Aboriginals were part of the casting, which seemed fairly inappropriate. Um, this leads on to the next question. I think that this could create bad reactions from other audience, it, audiences as they may feel like they don't belong um, as they're not getting included in this video showing a stereotype of what people think true Australians um, identity looks like. The new one however made sure to include many different cultures, genders and ages making it a full um, a video full of more inclusion. They use different places in Australia like fields and beaches however including more landmarks such as Sydney Harbour Bridge or Uluru and Great Barrier Reef would have also been good. Um, also, I know there's lots of people that live in the city, so even including things like that. I would hope that there would be not too many bad reactions to the new one as they were being very inclusive to many. However, it does sort of contradict and it's almost like they're making a remake of the original True Blue song because they didn't think it was fair and good enough, which is fair, but it could for sure create some conflicts between the two. Overall, they both did excellent jobs of conveying their intended messages, which were, however, different, but still valid. And they did this by using many different cinematic devices.